Hi there, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to the second video in Module 8. In this video, I will introduce you to considerations, processes, and framework to help you understand the implementation of technology in the workplace. We will begin with the analysis questions and then look at a couple of definitions. We will then look at two digital frameworks and then move on to understanding the consideration and processes before wrapping up with the synthesis questions. The three analysis questions should be looked at from a personal perspective. How are technologies used for learning in your workplace? Why do you think these technologies were chosen? And why might these considerations vary across different sectors? As you can see from the Merriam-Webster dictionary, consideration has a few meanings. Overall, though, it's about reflection and thought given to or about something. Another word we are interested in is process. There are several definitions for the word process, but we are concerned only with one. Think of this as a series of steps that must be taken to reach the results. Finally, the word framework has a number of definitions. We'll use framework to refer to basic ideas that underpin or uphold the process or consideration. Organizations should follow several processes to take much into consideration prior to implementing workplace learning technologies. The first process is to analyze the current situation. This is similar to a needs assessment, where questions surrounding the problem first need to be answered. Strategy development is used to align the strategy with the business objectives and technology priorities. Organizations should consider the role technology may play in shaping their culture and policies. A good example of this is the introduction of social media and how these change the company culture and may force some organizations to adopt or adapt certain policies. Tools and technologies should be selected to meet the needs of the organization. Considerations include budget restrictions along with the criteria for selection, implementation protocol, and the identification of resources needed for ongoing support. Obtaining tools and technologies is one thing, but promoting the use of them is another. Processes should be in place that include employee buy-in to use this technology, communicating about the technology, and of course, training employees. Finally, there should be processes in place to measure whether or not the technologies aided in meeting the business and technology objectives. Setting benchmarks and creating evaluation tools may accomplish this. Once we have a clear understanding of processes and considerations, we can move on to examining frameworks. Digital workplace frameworks provide organizations with a tool to understanding their current digital workplace and identifying areas of opportunity to support a better way of doing business by thinking holistically about digital workplace tools. Let's take a look at two different frameworks to see how these are applied. Gartner's framework focuses on five areas, change management, technology, strategy, and also people or the culture of the organization. Vision, strategy, and engagement are the first three building blocks. Vision means to know the why, what, and how of digital technologies in the workplace. Strategy is the roadmap or blueprint each department must take to ensure the vision is successful. Engagement speaks to HR changes and corporate culture to ensure success. This is tied to organizational change, which looks to systems and training employees to meet these new standards. Process looks at the process of how employees work and engage with each other. Information must be accessible and usable with the new technologies. Metrics are used to benchmark and measure the changes. Get Smart refers to what Gartner calls the nexus of force of digital technologies, which are mobile, social, cloud, and information. Overall, Gartner has excellent use of purpose, strategy, and change management. This is a different focus in the frameworks, and it's put forward by Deloitte. In the center of the framework is a learner who is surrounded by various ways of connecting or communicating using technology. The two blue circles illustrate ways in which learners interact. The various green circles belong more to the organization. Organizations are usually more interested in compliance, risk, and government. As we can clearly see in the outer green rings, there are a number of business drivers that constantly exert force on an organization. These may be filtered down to the worker in the middle. 
learners often take control of their own learning and may use a variety of digital technologies already in place in the workplace to further her or his knowledge through social or informal means. There are two synthesis questions related to this video. The second question you should answer in your group's PBL. A search for digital workplace frameworks reveals that many training organizations have created their own and use them as a foundation for training materials they are selling. An academic search reveals outdated pieces that might not be relevant. If you or the organization you work for are looking for a framework or process, bear in mind that adopting the training organization's ways of doing are geared toward them selling training. Look at these frameworks and processes critically. Perhaps your CLO or training department will create a model that fits the needs of their employees and organizations based on the number of different frameworks and processes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.